is Josh Daniel Tan, and I am a senior in environmental science with a focus on life sciences, as well as a minor in biology. I conducted my research in the lab of Dr. Nelson Ting, and my mentor is Claire Goodfellow, who is a PhD student in the Institute of Ecology and Evolution. I will be presenting my research today, where I examined the effect of collection method on microbial community variation detected by shock and metagenomics in elephant dung. So why do we want to quantify microbial communities from the dung of wild animals? In wild and endangered animals where invasive biological sampling is not possible, such as in elephants, analyses of gut microbial communities may be one of the few ways we can assess aspects of individual and population health. Collection of elephant dung is non-invasive and elephant dung is widely available and easy to collect in the wild from otherwise inaccessible individuals and populations. Specifically, shotgun metagenomic sequencing of DNA from dung, where all the DNA in a dung sample is sequenced, represents an exciting new development in molecular analysis, enabling high-resolution characterization of gut microbiome vi variation. In spite of this, no studies have been done to standardize the collection methods of samples from wild animals for shotgun metagenomics or to evaluate whether different collection methods can lead to differences in the microbial communities which are detected in a sample. In this research, my question is, does collection method have an effect on microbial communities detected by shotgun metagenomics? And my hypothesis is microbial community variation will differ among sampling methods. To test this hypothesis, I analyzed samples from a Bornean pygmy elephant named Tendra at the Oregon Zoo. Bornean pygmy elephants are an endangered subspecies of elephant. They are, there are only an estimated 1,500 left in the wild, and Chandra is actually the only one of her kind in captivity. The primary threat to these animals is the loss of habitat due to expansion of agriculture and palm oil plantations, as well as logging activity. A total of 10 fresh dung samples were collected from Chandra using five different commonly used collection methods with two samples for each method. I then conducted shotgun metagenomic analyses on these samples and developed a bioinformatic pipeline to analyze the microbial communities detected, which is described in figure two. Species richness and alpha diversity using Simpson's diversity index were calculated for all samples and ANOVA tests were run on R. I successfully classified reads from all the samples from 12.84% to 51.81% of reads classifying to the species level. Looking at the results, in Table 2 you can see species richness and evenness where the pinch in RNA later and swab in RNA later methods had the most richness in terms of classes that were detected, while the swab and buccal fix method had the least. And ANOVA tests show that there is no statistical difference between the mean number of classes detected by the methods. Alpha diversity is shown in the same table. As you can see, the swab and buccal fix method had a much lower value as compared to the rest. The ANOVA tests show that there was an extreme statistical difference between the species evenness detected. Post hoc tests indicate that the swab buccal fix method appears to significantly overrepresent certain bacterial classes. You can see a visual representation of what classes are detected below, pointed out by the two arrows, that with this hierarchical pie charts, from a visual standpoint, there seems to be a statistical difference in the distribution between the two methods. For the future direction of this project, I will expand pilot studies to include more replicates per method and increased sequencing depth. I will also investigate plant DNA and dung, potentially revealing information about diets of animals. To do this, I would edit the pipeline that I developed to include plant DNA and to see if there's any, de any detected in the sample. Finally, I will explore differences between samples taken from wild and captive elephants. In conclusion, to readdress my question of whether collection method has an effect on microbial communities detected by shotgun metagenomics, species richness is not significantly different throughout collection methods, but species evenness is. The class gamma proteobacteria is in greater abundance in the swab buccal fix method than in the other methods. 
Finally, I would like to thank my principal investigator, Dr. Nelson Ting, and my mentor, Claire Goodfellow, for guiding me through this process and giving me 